Okay, I wanted to do a video on this because this is more sandstone. I bring, bring, I've been bringing you video after video of sandstone and asking why the question, why so much sandstone in the world on Earth? Why, 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 why so much silicon dioxide? Where'd it come from? What was it before it was this? Had to be something. It just isn't coming out of nothing. And this has nothing to do with volcanism, so it has nothing to do with vol volcanoes or lava or none of that. But here's my thing. This is close to where I live. This car coming, so I'm gonna pause it for a minute. Okay, this is all sandstone. The mountains are made of sandstone where I live. Most of Oregon is sandstone. The water, all of our wells around here, my well water, everybody's well water, most of it Western Oregon, of people's well water is sulfur. Why do we have sulfur in the sandstone? That's sulfur. See it leaching out of the sandstone? See these lines? I believe I figured it out finally. I thought I have for a while. This has to do with tissue, skin. And the silicon in the skin and the sulfur that's in it it turns to, to sandstone, to silicon dioxide, okay? And then it gets ground down and washed in the oceans, on and on and on, but it's flesh. See the sandstone leaching out there? You can see the layers in here. Sandstone up there. And all of a sudden it got busy. There was nobody coming by. But look at the sandstone, you know, we got, I mean, sandstone, we got the sulfur again. I mean, it's, I find this a lot, the sulfur in the sandstone. It has nothing to do with volcanism, remember that. So it has nothing, because, you know, you'll find a lot of sulfur mixed in with lava, that type of stuff, you know, with the gas releases on and on. This has nothing to do with that. See, this is sandstone. And this is, this is skin. I'm not kidding you. I know it sounds preposterous, over the top, that we'd be living down in something skin, but that's, that's what it is on this carcass. And the black up in there, you see, that's, that's just oxidation. But see, you see the sulfur? If this was just sandstone deposit, why would the sulfur be leaching out of it like that? It's on a scale. It's like the, 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 the dragon there that China and Mongolia are living on, that dragon's head. It's on a scale like that. We can't even fathom. I'm going to try to get the drone out maybe, but there's so many power lines and then guy lines going across. I'm afraid of hitting one of them with the drone. This is, I mean, it's on, I know it sounds preposterous and over the top. But, you know, we're just microbes. And now remember, there is volcanism mixed in with, you know, some of this stuff, because there is you know, volcanic activity that happens, I'm not denying that. But there's also the creation event that's carcasses. See, look, at this, look at the clear up in there and see the sandstone it's got you got the sulfur leaching out of it too And you got it in there, up there. It's all over. This is one of the best places I found it where it's sticking out pretty good where it's in right, right in your face. But I think you're getting the idea. And the mountains are made out of it. That's why I've been showing you all this sandstone. Where'd it come from? Where did all the silicon dioxide to make this sandstone, where did it all come from? I know it's got quartz in it. I know animals and living tissues and trees and plants and stuff have silica in them. 
but that don't account for all the sandstone and sand on earth. I don't care for it. And how's it all turned into it? How did tra how's a human being transition into sandstone then? <laughs> anyway, it's skin. Look at this in here, isn't that cool? It's skin. I believe it's, this is what it is. It's tissue, upper layer tissue, it's skin. That's why you got the sulfur in it too. I found it with blood, Fe202 uh, and Fe203 blood in it also. Find the red sandstone. All right, I'll see if I can fly it with a drone. But yeah, anyway, sulfur. Why all the sulfur in the sandstone? And it's oxidized, right? it looks black and gray and stuff, but you know, down here it's tan, you can see where it's, you know, you get a lot of oxidation, all this water running off it. So, and didn't come from no volcanic activity, you didn't see no volcanoes spewing out sand, making sandstone. <laughs> all right. I mean, there's a lot of sandstone and sand on Earth. But your skin, skin is dense with silica. Or silicon, I mean. All right, so I think we've seen about enough of this. You're getting the gist of it, you know, just, you know, asking the question. You know, where, what was it? Before it was this, before it was sandstone, silicon dioxide, what was it? You know, we're, our, you know, flesh and upper layer tissues are dense in silicon, and that's what's transitioning into silicon dioxide. Just compacted sands, all this is. Sandstone. But just, just flesh. That's what it is. That's why, and that's why we're getting the, the sulfur. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'll try to get the drone in here. All right.
Thank you.